Resolution Design doing this tutorial for all of my clients who need to add products. Um, I'm going to uh, record like a simple video or multi videos as far as how to add products into the store. Now these steps in Shopify, they have multiple scenarios. So I'm trying to break this down as easy as I can. Um, I don't want to make the video too long because then that's a lot to remember. So I'm going to make this piece by piece. And on this video, what we're going to focus on is how to just add the products, okay? Um, once this video is over, there's going to be another video that talks about um, how to add the products into, into the collections. And then finally, how to add the collections and assign them into the main menu, okay? So that would be on other videos. This video is just covering how to add products. So let's go over here, start from the home page. Um, from this, what we're going to do is look over here on the left. And on the left, what you're going to do is click on products. Now, this is an example of a store that I worked for a client. And this is just some basic stuff, right? In the sense that, you know, where there's already uh, products installed, pre-installed. And just so that you could get a visualization of what this means, these are the titles, these are the pictures associated with them. Here's the inventory that's in stock, which is controlled by Shopify. And basically what this means is that, you know, let's say, for example, in this particular product, the back tie romper, it has six products in its inventory. The moment that it sells out, that's when that say it automatically hides itself from the store. At least that's how we set it this way. So anywho, let's get right to this. Um, if we're going to add a product from scratch, like let's imagine none of this stuff is here and we're going to add a product from scratch. The most simplest way to do it is let's start over here at a clean slate, add product. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to create something very fictitious here. Um, and what I did over here was I went on AliExpress and um, what I just did here is just kind of like let's just grab a, a basic picture that we could use. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this picture here. And again, this is just for an example purpose only. I'm going to delete it afterwards. I hope that my client is not like, oh, what is this product? I didn't add this product here. <laughs> I'm going to delete it right away for her. Anywho, so we're going to grab this, uh, this title here. Okay. Um, well, you know, when it comes to AliExpress, I don't want you to grab this exact same title and copy it from them. I want you guys to create your own because just the way that they word these titles, first of all, it's almost like a paragraph. You know, you don't want a paragraph. Google doesn't like this. So let's just call it the rayon spaghetti strap. That's it. Let's just keep it simple. Okay. And that's how you guys should do it too. So here I go. I put that there. And over here, I took a screenshot of this image. I'm going to click, drag, and drop this here. Very easy. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to create my own product description. There's nothing wrong for you to, you know, grab their product description, although it's kind of like this. But um, just make something up. Make something that, think about the key words that people are going to search when it comes to this particular outfit. So what is, and the key words should be also in the title here too. This is good for SEO. Rayon spaghetti strap. Okay, what is it though? It's a dress, and that is the key word. Or to be specific, what's the occasion? Is it, do you want to? Is it a night dress specifically? So if people that are searching you on Google, they type in night dress. You want this to come out? Okay, then type in night dress. All right, and then right here we put some nice fancy word for it. Uh, this beautiful. I, I'm sorry. This is my spelling is horrible. This beautiful dress is perfect for any evening occasion super misspelled that made from 100 percent we don't have to be technical here um okay this is just getting too much nylon sp made from nylon spandex and rayon immediate shipping something attractive right and let's see how much you want to sell it for well china wants to sell us it sell this dress for 21.95 so let's call it 32.50 okay not that you know i'm just making stuff up okay 
um, shipping weight. You could keep all this there. But this dress, how many sizes does it come in? It comes in small, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Now, very important. Look what they're doing here. This information is pretty interesting. If I click on this, this stuff right here, you see this? Why don't you take that with you? And this is just for these type of products. If you're selling clothing, why not take the manufacturer sizing chart? All right. And they're saying 21, 21, 25. So if I click on this, all right, if I click on that, price is the same, price is the same, 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 good. So across the board, China is selling me this product for 21, 25. And uh, it comes in those variants. These, by the way, are called variants. This is a product. These are variants. This one product has one, two, three, four, five variants. How many dimension variants does this product have? Two. So according to AliExpress, this has color variants, which comes in all of these colors here. You could try to sell it like this if you want. I don't like it personally because, um, you know, I like to build the website so that they could see all the colors from the collection. It's totally up to you. So let's pretend that this is not here and let's just focus on this. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's add those variants to the product. We're going to go down here where it says variants. We're going to click on where it says add variant. And right here it says size exactly. So we're going to go with extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Whoops. Every time a block was made, I pressed comma. Let me do that one more time. So I typed in right here, XS, comma, SM, comma, on the keyboard, MED, comma, LRG, comma, XL, comma, done. And look what happens. The variants start to populate. Now these fields are here in case of, let's say, well, you know, for these variants, 3250, 3250, but the moment that we go from large, it's not 3250 anymore. Now it's 3995. Because let's say that, uh, that these guys, they charge you more the bigger in size you go. So you could do that too. All right. And there it is. Okay. And we have everything set for the product. Okay. And the last thing that we're going to do, we're not going to worry about none of this stuff yet. Okay. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to press save. Okay. So we have the one product there. But what if now, remember how I spoke over here? How I told you that you should not make all of these variants. You should make these individual products so that on the collection they could see the whole thing. Since we already have this color, all right, the next dress that we're going to do, oh, actually, that's a nice picture. So why don't we just grab that one, okay? And let's add that one as a secondary picture. Okay? So the main picture is always going to show up big like this. And the secondary picture and third picture, fourth picture are going to come out small. If you want this to be the primary picture, all you got to do is hover over it, click, hold, drag, drop. And that's it. This will be secondary. Okay? And it will automatically save as you can see there. All right? So we got the pick one all set. We want to add another color. But we don't want to do all that work. We just want to, like, emulate, you know, replicate it. So now, if that was that one, uh, and, oh, by the way, that one's a, let's call this a fuchsia pink, because it has a pink on it. So you see where it says rayon spaghetti strap knife dress? Let's go over here and type fuchsia pink. Because you're going to have more of these. The only thing is they're all going to be different colors, and it's going to look nice in a collection because the, the, your, your clients are going to see all, all, everything. They're going to see all of them rather than, oh, that looks nice, but I don't like that color, so therefore I'm not even going to go into it. 
No, no, show it, show it all, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to create another product that is just like this. It has the same everything. We don't want to do all this all over again. It has the same everything, except that it's a different color. So what am I going to do from here? I'm going to click right here where it says duplicate. And duplicate, what it's doing is that it's creating a clone of everything that we just done. Um, I do not want to bring over the pictures, but keep everything the same. Press duplicate. And it brought over everything. So this time what I'm going to do is, since this is a copy, I'm going to get rid of this word copy. I'm going to change the fuchsia pink and I'm going to say black. The prices are exactly the same. Everything is the same. Now I'm going to go and click on this black picture right here. I'm going to take another screenshot. And I'm going to go right here and add the product. Okay. And there it is. The last thing you need to do before you press save is click right here where it says edit SEO. It's, it's bringing over this ugly link, copy of, rayon, dress, no, 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 triple click. Look at this, one, two, three, delete. So that brings over its unique SEO URL. Then press save. And as you can see here, that's it. You have made two products. Let's go back over to the products. Okay. And there they are. All right. I'm going to end this video. That's how you make a product. In the next video, we're going to talk about how you make a collection. You do not make a collection unless you do all of your products. That is key. Don't go creating collections and menus. No, no, no. Start from the first level. Create all your products first. Then go and create your collection. All right. One last thing. Uh, how do we, so Edwin, how do we set this up so that uh, Shopify can control the inventory? Well, right now, the way we set it, as you can see, that was NA. The way we set it was that, let's see here. The way we set it was so that there is no control of inventory. But if you want to control the amount of inventory that there exists for each product, like let's say, well, I only have one extra small, two smalls, three mediums, uh, three larges, and one XL. Let's go over here where it says edit on the variant. And now we're down to the level of the variants. And we say, okay, I want to track inventory. How many do you have here? We have one extra small save. Let's go to the next one. How many of the smalls do you have? Let's track the inventory. Say you have two of the smalls save. Let's go to the medium one in the medium. We want to track inventory. How many mediums do you have? Three mediums. Let's go to the large. Let's track this inventory. How many do you have? We have three. And then finally, go to the Excel. How many do you have of that? You have one. Save. So when we go over here where it says all products on the left and we look at that product again, look at that. You have 10 in stock. So pay attention how 10 looks like this, and then anything less than 10 comes out with these colors, meaning, hey, be careful, you're running low on stock. You need to re-up yourself over 10. And that's how it's divided, okay? All right, off to the next video. I hope this was helpful. Again, this is Edwin from Resolutions Design. If any questions, let me know.